Hi, I like to shake it. What's cracking, PD peeps? It is Saturday, and today I'm gonna bless you guys with the shake effect using PowerDirector 18 and PowerDirector 365. If you're new to my channel and you wanna learn how to use PowerDirector, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in Power Director. The shake effect makes it appear that the entire scene is shaking in your video. This is a cool effect to use in any type of video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the shake effect for your videos. Let's shake things up a bit. As you can see, I have a clip up here in the media library. And if you play this back, you see that this young buck is shaking a Christmas present. Now, I want it to appear that when he shakes the Christmas present, he's shaking the whole universe, or maybe the universe is inside the box. I don't know. I'm just a unique type of dude like that, and that's what I wanted to do. So what you need to do first is bring your clip into track one. So I'm going to left click on this clip, hold down my left mouse, and drag it down into track one. Now we need to add the effect to the clip. So I'm going to go up here to the effects room. I'm going to go to visual. And I'm going to go to the quake effect. I'm going to left click, hold down my left mouse, and I'm going to drag this on top of this clip and let it go. And the effect is applied. If I click on play, you see, it shakes everything up. Now I want to add a few changes to this. So I need to go ahead and click on the clip and click on effect. And there are five things here that you can change. The first one is the quake level and that changes the level of the shake overall and the entire effect then you have your starting angle which changes the direction of the shake at the beginning of the effect the frequency changes how many times the quake effect cycles or how frequently it shakes the stepping angle changes the duration between each movement and then you got your background color so if the clip is going off of the scene like you saw before there's a little bit of black in the top bottom left and right of the scene that is the background color that you're going to be using. Now, what I want to happen in this effect is I want the boy to lift the present. And then when he starts shaking it, that's when I want the scene to start shaking. And when he stops shaking it, I want the scene to stop shaking. So I'm going to need to add keyframes to do that. So I'm going to click on the keyframe button. And if the effect option is not opened up, if it's like this, and you want to go ahead and click on effect to open it up, and the first thing that we want to do is when the clip is at the beginning, before it starts doing anything, we want to bring our quake level to zero. This will stop it from shaking at all. So if I were to play it right now, there's no shake going on. We're good to go. Now what we need to do is move our playhead to a frame right before we want the shake to start. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to add a keyframe because we want it to lock in at zero between the first and the second keyframe. So all this time, there will be no shaking. But right after this, we want it to start shaking. So we're gonna move forward one frame. And now we're gonna bring our quake level up to 150. So right here at this point is when the whole scene is gonna start shaking. So we want it to keep shaking until he's done shaking the box. So we need to move our playhead to a position right before he stops shaking it. And then we want to go ahead and add another keyframe here. And this keyframe will be 150. So it's going to be shaking the whole time between this keyframe and the next keyframe. And then since this is right before he stops shaking the box, we want to move forward one keyframe. And then we want to go ahead and move the quake level down to zero. And that will mean that at this point, he's no longer shaking the box. So if we play this back, it should look like he's, it's not shaking. Then as soon as he shakes the box, it should start shaking. And as soon as he stops, it'll stop shaking again. Now the problem is there's a lot of black borders around whenever it starts shaking. So we need to remove all of that. So what I'm gonna do first is close this effect. 
And I'm going to double click on this clip to open the PIP designer. And I'm going to change the scale to 1.1 and hit enter. And that scales it up a bit and it should remove any of those black borders around it. So let's play this back and see if we still see any black around the sides of the clip. It looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And let's play this back. You all shook up. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.